Hello and welcome back to Getting Started with Azure App Service Highlights. We are starting a new section here called App Insights Integration. My name is Chris Howd and I am here with... Hello Chris, I'm Jeff Morgan. And today we're going to look at Application Insights and what it gives us in our Azure Web Apps. So Application Insights is an SDK that you can include in your site. It is available for JavaScript and for .NET for a whole bunch of different platforms. If you use Angular or React, you can go ahead and get SDKs for those as well. And what it gives you is site views, user metrics, crash reporting, eventing, anything that gives you information about what your users are doing on the site. A lot of helpful stuff. A lot of helpful metrics for you. Yeah, sounds good. So let's take a look at what we get out of the box using Azure Web Apps and what kind of information it gives us. So I'm going to go ahead and jump out to my browser here. And here you can see I have an Azure Web App. And you can see here that with the site running, I'm already getting metrics about how much data is coming into the site. If I had any HTTP 500 errors, I'd also see them on here, how many I'm getting over the last 15, 30 minutes here. Um, I can see the amount of data going out to kind of keep a benchmark on how much data my app is using. And I also have information on the number of requests coming in and average response time. So if I were to see, say, really long response times, I could beef up the web app. Yeah, so that I can that's respond really great. You get that looks like you get quite a bit really uh, without having to do anything. Right, and so all I did here is I simply deployed my HTML site to Azure Web Apps, and I did nothing else. I didn't include any SDKs. I didn't do anything. That's so really cool. I do have another option though, and that is to go ahead and include a full SDK. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back to my PowerPoint slides here. So the other option is you can include the SDK itself. So if yep. for JavaScript, it's a simple script tag. For .NET, it's a NuGet package. I can include that in, and it will give me a lot deeper metrics. OK, great. And uh, I think maybe you have a pre-recorded demo showing us some of that. It's exactly. Really cool. So let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at how we can integrate application insights into an existing ASP.NET Core application. So I've gone ahead and I've already deployed my website here. If I click the URL, you can see I'm presented with the sample app. Uh, I can click around, everything is good and deployed, running, but I want to add some analytics to this. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here over to the side and I'm going to come click Application Insights under Monitoring. And here I'm going to create a new resource. I'll go ahead and keep the defaults for that. And this will create a new Application Insights instance. Um, and it will go ahead and do the initial linking of my website to my Application Insights instance. So after a few seconds, this will go ahead and pop up. And there we go. And so now we'll go ahead and hit View More in Application Insights to bring up the actual details panel. And we'll scroll over here a little bit. And so now we can come down in here and see that we have an instrumentation key. So this key is what we will use to integrate Application Insights into the actual code. So if we go to our Visual Studio code here, we have opened the code for the project. And all we have to do is install the SDK here. So we can do a .NET add package, and we'll add the Microsoft.ApplicationInsights.ASP.NETCore. There we go. And all that will do is it will pull down the latest version of the package, and it will add it to your csproj file. You can see here now we have a package reference to NuGet to the Microsoft Application Insights ASP.NET Core version 2.1.1. And so we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade this to a beta version so we can see a couple of new features that are coming to ASP.NET Core Application Insights. So I'm going to upgrade this to beta 2. We'll go ahead and save that file. And I'm going to do a uh, .NET restore, which will go ahead and get us the latest version of that package that we just specified. It'll download the latest. And there we go. So now what we can do is we need to tell the project that we want to go ahead and use App Insights at startup. So what we'll do is we will come into the program file for ASP.NET. And under the create default builder, we're just going to add use application insights. And this will take an overload of the instrumentation key. So we'll go ahead and pop back into the portal here. We'll grab that instrumentation key and we'll drop that right in here. Great. And that's it. At this point, we've integrated the SDK. And so this will monitor all of our server-side interactions with the site. 
And so if I go ahead and I run the site, we will see in the application portal that we will start getting data after a few seconds for page views. So I'll go ahead and click around here a little bit into about and contact and home and we'll get a little bit of data flowing. It may take up to 15 minutes for it to start showing up, but you can go ahead and just keep hitting refresh here until that data pops up and you'll be able to see the information here on your timeline. Great. So it's a few minutes later now and we can see data is coming into our app insights portal. So we can look here and we see the server response time and the number of requests. And so this is data that is coming from the client side web that is delivered via .NET. And this is the data that the server side rendering is seeing. So it's seeing a server response time 401, but you'll notice we don't have any page view load times. And this is because on the client, the actual HTML that's delivered over to the user's computer, that doesn't include any kind of page load data or app insights integration by default, but we can add it pretty easily. So all you have to do is you come down here inside of configures a getting started tab. And if you look for the diagnose a client side application and click there, you'll be given a little chunk of JavaScript. We're gonna go ahead and just take that and we're gonna include this in the index HTML of all of our pages. And to do that, you'll come into views and shared and then go into layout. And then right before the ending head tag here, we'll go ahead and include that JavaScript. We'll go ahead and delete the comment here just to clean up the code here a little bit. And you can see here, it's already got our instrumentation key in here. And this will go ahead and log to the client all of the client side events, how long it is taking to come from the server and bring that page full circle back to the client. So we'll go ahead and save this. I'm gonna go ahead and restart my application here. And we'll go ahead and go back to the website. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click through these different pages. And you'll notice here in a few seconds that if you return back to your overview tab, come back into my app insights. In a few seconds here, you'll see page view load times also start to return. And there you go. So now you can see here, now we have page view load time and uh, you can see the average page view load time is about uh, a little under two seconds. And so this is the round trip time from the time that I click a button such as clicking on contact to when that page is loaded and completes full circle back to the user. So this is a pretty cool way that you can see app insights will integrate not only the request to the server, but the client time processing as well. And it can include all of that in one loop so that you can really see end to end how long it takes for users to view your page. We'll take a look at one more feature that's coming to App Insights for ASP.NET Core, and that's live streaming analytics. So you can see here there's a button for live stream. If I click that, you'll see that I'm connect to a live stream of the metrics coming across from the application into App Insights. And so I'm gonna go ahead and split my tabs here and we'll put the uh, website on one side and the stream on the other. And you can see here as I click through the site that the metrics stream across in real time so that I can see, you know, if I had 500 people on the site, I'd be able to see how the system is doing at the current rate. Is it doing better? Is it worse? Is it able to keep up with all the requests? And I can also even see live failure. So like if I try to visit a web address that doesn't exist here, you can see after a quick second that I now have a failure here as well. And so if I scroll over here, I can see that up oh, somebody tried to request a page that doesn't exist, the request failed, and I can deal with the error appropriately. So App Insights gives you a lot of metrics for very little work. All you have to do is include that SDK and that little snippet of JavaScript, and you get full metrics and details for your app in real time. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to go ahead and include the SDK. You get a lot of interesting information. We got the page views in there. Yeah, we were that able was to cool. See. So it doesn't take much. It's a quick little SDK. It's very small. You don't have to worry about it bloating up your site or anything. And the information it gives you is well worth it. Yeah, that was great. Thanks for having that demo ready for us, Jeff. And um, so let's, um, let's finish this up. Um, we have a little bit more in the edX course. Could you kind of explain a little bit about you know, what more are we doing? I know we have the, the, a few different labs in the edX course. We kind of walk through the same process. Could you yeah. talk about that a little? In the edX course, we dive deeper into the analytics dashboard where you can really dive into all of the metrics. If you've got a lot of people visiting your site, you've got a very large database in your App Insights. And we show you how you can use the query language built into App Insights to go ahead and filter down that data and find groups and patterns and matches 
for what your users are doing with your site. Okay, and we're querying uh, telemetry, and we're, we're just doing a lot more, and you, you get all that hands-on time, so it's really great. Exactly. All right, well, uh, thank you for joining us on this section, and uh, we'll see you back for the next section. Thanks.